Hey guys, Hickok45 here. <laughs> no, it's actually tape, but uh, this range always reminds me of Hickok45's range. Because I'm playing some H3 VR today, or hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades, as it is fully called. Um, if you don't know what that game is, well, this game is. It's a VR shooting simulator kind of game with lots of fun stuff to do in it. And I've been kind of meaning to record some VR, because I guess if this is the first video you're kind of watching in a while. I've been doing some streams recently, kind of back from my long hiatus, and I've, I've been looking forward to recording some VR, because I've been play playing a lot of VR recently, because I got myself a Valve Index, so I was like, yeah, might be fun to do some of this. So uh, yeah, here we are on the range with this new beautiful Benelli M2 shotgun, and uh, ooh, turn the safety off. I'll just uh, fire off some shots so that you can Make sure your uh, <laughs> speakers aren't up too loud. Um, and yeah, so the plan for today is, well, really, to do some take and hold. If you've never played this game, you might not know, but there is um, a mode called take and hold, which is sort of a roguelike kind of thing, where you get various guns and have to fight your way through lots of take and hold scenarios and uh, get more and better guns. But no, I've been playing a little bit, so I'm sort of okay, except... Obviously, recording, there's a lot, there's something else to think about. I've always found that when playing games is, if I'm talking, it's a little harder to focus on things. So I may be terrible today. But anyway, let's jump right into the uh, take and hold, um, because that'll be more fun. And then maybe we'll come back to a range. So this is the little menu for take and hold. I'm just going to go with, like, the basic thing. So we have a classic lo a loadout Lewis, so you just get kind of shitty guns at the at, at the start, and as you, as you earn points or tokens, you buy better guns. Um, and just, yeah, leave it like that. You can enable an item spawner, which is nice if you want to use some specific guns. But I thought it'd be more fun today to use whatever they give me. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping not bolt-action pistols, because I hate bolt-action pistols. If I get one, I might even restart, because I despise them so much. Um, so here we are at the start of Taken Hold. You get a few things. You get a melee weapon, which I rarely use because... I don't want to punch my walls. You get a little health sausage. Um, so the hot dogs in hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades are kind of the enemies. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a nice... Uh oh, I hear an enemy. That's a nice good old Colt 4-5. Um, it's like a tactical Colt 1911, I guess, with a red dot, which... Ooh, that's not what I want. Which I am just trash at using, but I guess I can line up the sights too. Okay, so yeah. Now what we need to do is find the take, uh, find the hold thing with the thing we need to kill everyone at and then hold it. And then we need to go and find, actually I'm going to do that first. So in each sort of um, wave, there's a certain amount of these blue things, as you can see on the map right there, um, which are kind of uh, places where you go and kill the enemies to get more weapons. All right, let's get all tactical. Uh-oh, the wire's in the way. Oh, piss. There we go. <laughs> all right, tactical. <laughs> I am very untactical as a person, as you may may know if you've ever seen any of my content. I'm not exactly here. I'm going to move back a bit. Got more, more space in front of me to stab <laughs> if I need to. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm not, I still haven't quite figured out how to move with a gun like this, so that might be, well, that might hinder me. Come on. Ah, uh, there's the dot. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Fuck! <sighs> Bitch. Some health. Don't need it. Um, cool! Alright, so... Ooh. Yeah, piss. Ah, nice. So, mm, knife. <sighs> what do we got? Health sausage, can't afford it. Knife, got one. Um, and a shotgun, a dub break action. You know what? Could be useful. So yeah, as you kill people and find tokens and do the holds, you get these shotguns. Uh, well, sorry, you get points for which you can spend on weapons. And I got the most useless shotgun in the world, um, as I will demonstrate <laughs> right now. So this is a break action shotgun with no barrel. I should not have wasted that point on this because... It's, like, point-blank range only. <laughs> but hey, could be a backup. Okay, back to the cult, and now we've gotten that, we can go to the hold area and uh, kill everyone there, and then we will defend ourselves against waves until we have successfully held it. Jogging with a gun, it's difficult. I guess it's a quite a good simulation of moving and shooting, because it's probably pretty hard to 
move and shoot. I don't know, I've only ever shot standing still in real life, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> sorry if the sorry if the microphone quality is not amazing, because... Was that both? There should be two, right? There he is. Where you at, buddy? Did I hit him? Yeah, apparently. That's surprising to me. Alright, cool. Um, I hate this hole, it's too big a room, so touch that, and then run over here, because a good corner is a nice place. You want to be cornered in combat, that's what I find. Okay, they're going to come that way. Find the dot, kill him, kill him, nice. And I have infinite ammo, so I can reload, I'm going to reload a ridiculous amount. Um, okay, good, got a bit of cover that way, but I don't need cover, I need murder. Uh oh, please, please be dead. He's dead. Are you dead? Good. Right, now these pop up, these little static encryption things, and if you shoot them, you win. Shit, I didn't get them all! Where's the last one? Where the fuck is the la Oh, it was above me. Great. Oh god. Cover. <laughs> oh god. Panic. There we go. Did it. Nice. Lost half my health, but I have a health sausage, so we're okay. Okay, so I held that one successfully, and now we're on to the next sort of round, I guess. And we have to go and find more of those... This fucking knife. I'm not going to use it. Um, I never use the knife. So now we're going to go and find the rest of these, like, gun places and get some better guns. Okay, so this is the place. So I want to sneak in here and wreck that guy's shit and get this... Point! Come on! Get some health. Shouldn't have used that sausage, that was dumb of me, but whatever. Take his gun, fuck it, why not? It's always good to have another one. Ooh, a sumj. I think that's how it's pronounced, actually. Ooh, a little tiny MP7? I have no fucking clue. Um, actually, don't know, no, it's not an MP7. And now there's another one. I might be able to afford another gun, maybe this was a waste, but hey, fuck it, automatic. That's what you want. Um, okay. So it's through that door, I guess. Good, no one down here. Let's go automatic, let's have some fun. <laughs> Didn't hit him once. Oh shit, don't do that. Okay. Come on. No, I think I hear someone that way. Shit! Oh god, I left my gun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. I may have fucked a smoke grenade. Come on, man. Are they behind me? I see you! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And they have the same thing there. So... Yeah, I don't really need another SMG. Or maybe I do. Could be a better SMG. Just roll those dice. I'm not gonna live long. God damn it, it's like the same kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it's like a... Uzi? I don't know. You know what, now I think I can probably just get rid of that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll put that there. Put that up there if I need to. And let's just head to the hold. Run, 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 run. Corners. Check my corners. That's what the guy in Modern Warfare 4 taught me to do. You know, bringing all my knowledge together. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, I'll try- OH MY GOD, THERE'S TWO OF THEM! I quite like this thing, actually. Oh, look at that! Okay, crouching down like a badass! Come on. Come at me. Get wrecked. I think that's all of them. Yeah, good. You are out of gas. I'm alive. Probably gonna have to kill some people here. Oh Christ. <laughs> Tactical. Shoot round corner. Oh my god! I also learnt the uh, shooting over here. Oh Christ alive. How many are there? Oh Christ. Oh. Come on, man. Can't you just die? Thank you. Very noble of you. 
Right! <laughs> Heart attack over. Let's die. No. Confidence, Peter. You need confidence. You can do this. You've trained for this your whole life. Except you haven't. But still. You know, you've played a lot of this game. Okay. Getting real sweaty. It's exercise doing this game. Ugh. Oh. Especially with the jogging, actually. I find that makes it much more sort of tasking physically. I mean, not massively. But, you know, I mean, coronavirus. I'm not exactly fit after quarantine, so... Anything's a bit much, honestly. Okay. This way. Come on, why won't you die? I think I got him. Maybe not enough. Yep. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Damn it, threw my gun by accident. Oh, survived that one. But now, since we're on round two, we get another wave. Which is... Okay, that's nice cover, actually. I can probably crouch down and be fairly safe. That's a lot of them. Okay. Are you all dead? Come on, come at me. Come at me. Oh man, hope no one comes to the door, I'll look like a right twat, <laughs> kneeling down. No you don't. Okay, static encryption. That's a lot of encryption. This is what real encryption looks like. I'm a software engineer, trust me. Are we good? Oh, at least I got through two of them, I'm not a total pussy. <laughs> I'm glad they let me wear hats too, man. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, buddy! You good? Shoot it sideways. It's way cooler. Health! Override token. More of these SMGs, that's no good. But I could use a sausage. What is this? Bullet boost. That's not what I need. I need health. Nothing's going on over here. Leave me alone. We good? I should use two hands, really. Whew. Don't exactly have amazing control over this gun. Or any guns. We good? Hey, buddy. Health, please. Health. Pl oh, I need to get this first. Oh, God. Health, yes. Machine pistol could be useful, but I already have a couple of machine guns, so I'm good. Come on, come down the stairs. Don't worry about it. There's no one waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm way too worn out. I've really got to go to the gym. This is a real wake-up call. That dude's wearing armor, which obviously isn't great if you're firing pistol calibers, because they don't tend to penetrate armor. Oh, this is a health boost. I think it's when I shoot people, I get health. Let's try it out. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Nope, that is not what it is. Why did it say health on it, then? Come on, why won't you die? <laughs> oh. This is going on over here, buddy. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Oop. Don't eject the magazine. That's a bad idea, Peter. It's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, semi-automatic. Right, there's a round in there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm really liking this gun, actually. It's nice. Die, 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 die. <laughs> okay, I don't want to hit that. I want to go to the next room where I can get new things. Oh! I'm going to run away. They don't need to die. Ah, I don't need to kill everyone. That's just silly. It's just uh, grotesque. <laughs> I'm running much faster now. I, I'm getting used to this. Doing a bit of uh, jazz hands, you know? Really get. Oh, okay. Come at me, bro. Oh! Three of them this time! Oh. 
Oh, bolt action rifle. I am so trash with bolt actions in any... If I'm not shooting at a target, I'm not hitting with a bolt action. <laughs> that is what I have discovered playing this game. I'm pretty mobile. I'm speedy. Oh! Wrecked his shit. I'm getting, actually, better at offhand shooting. When I first started playing this, I really found it was really difficult to line up a shot. Oh, Christ, there's guys. Luckily, they died. <laughs> oh, it's no good place to be, because you got to cover the stairs and the... At the same time, he's got a shield. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. <laughs> die. Why won't you die? See, this is what I'm talking about. About Oh, I think he killed me. <laughs> well, that's how that went. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go to some nice, calm range. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about what just happened there. <laughs> Hawk this over there. Some... Oh no. Bollocks. <laughs> ah, didn't fuck with my range. Alright, let's get something fun. Uh, ah, let's get a Webley. Let's get a good old Webley. Shoot off some Webley. So yeah, um, that was Taken Hold. If you haven't seen it before in a video, it's, it's good. There's lots of people on YouTube who are actually like good at it. Like, amazing. Um, I am not one of them. I'm slightly better when not recording, but... That wasn't an inaccurate representation of how I usually uh, play play Take and Hold. <laughs> like I was saying just before I died, I found uh, when you first start playing this, if you haven't got a lot of shooting experience like me, really, I haven't done like a lot. Um, I've was in army cadets, you know. I fired some shotguns. I went to shooting range in Poland and just you know opened up with machine guns, you know, bit of fun. But yeah, if you haven't got a lot of experience, then it's like really hard to like. Get that sight picture. I guess that's true for real shooting as well, just like lining it up quickly. But I have found, as I hope you may have seen there, that, um, uh, that, you know, it's, uh, you can get quite quick at, like, offhand shooting, like that kind of thing, where you can just, like, see a guy and hit him. Not that red guy, though. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's, I think that's the skill that's, like, really sort of useful. Um, that's, like, uh, like a really useful skill in like that kind of environment where you're like running around shooting people and it is fun shooting at the sausages because they're sort of uh i don't know they're just jokey um also like the thing i love most about this game is the weapon menu there's just so many weapons so you come to this and you've got pistols shotguns smgs and rifles support which is machine guns and shit and all this other stuff um and there's just so many guns in it you've got like your 1911s, your Browning High Powers, your C96 Morsey, you've even got your Borshart C90, C93, um, your 50 caliber Desert Eagles. <laughs> Ooh, one of the rounds came out. Doesn't really matter. If you need more than one, it's probably a dragon. <laughs> I'd like to try that and take and hold. I don't imagine it would be very tactical. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's so many 1911s. There's like one, two, three, and then there's three on the other one as well. Um, and I think they even have like the 1903, like the precursor to the 1911. Yeah, Pocket Hammer 1903. There's been a lot of updates recently where they've put in... Oh, Christ alive. Give me that bullet back, will you? There's been a lot of updates recently where they've put in a lot of kind of uh, turn of the century, oh, turn of the century weapons like this and uh, some good old rifles, um, a lot of old revolvers. Uh, there's loads of stuff. Uh, Tokarev, nice, TT-33, I guess it's called. Uh, sort of, a lot of the games you kind of see in video games, and it's a little more fun to, like, sort of hold them, I guess. Can I get the gong? Yes! I have to come up with some kind of Hickok 45 type excuse. Um, because I, yeah. <laughs> oh, and the PPK, one of my favorite pistols ever. I was so disappointed when I went to this shooting range in, um... In Warsaw, actually, I went with a friend who's from there, um, and he's like done lots of shooting, and he took me to there. And I, in on their website, it was like we have a PPK, and I was like, yes, James Bond's gun, but they didn't have it when I got there, which sucked. But I did get to fire a Lee Enfield, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. This game, it's just even on the range, just kind of plinking at things, looking through all these weapons. Um, you've got like weird shit as well, like this Webley automatic, which. I don't think I even knew existed. Maybe I've seen Gun Jesus do some videos on it. That's Forgotten Weapons, if you don't know. Um, 
which is such an ugly gun. Look at that. It's the typical kind of British. We don't really need an automatic. Just throw anything together. You got the jungle carbine as well, but yeah, you got the good old number four Lee Enfield, which I've just spawned two of. Uh, get over there, will you? Get in the bin. Bastard. Uh, anyway. Um, get in the magazine. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can hit the gong with this. Safety. Nailed it. Let's see if I can get that further back gong. Oh, I got it! Fucking hell, I'm not too bad. I play this a lot, so I've kind of, uh, you know, got a bit of an idea. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I think they have the SA-18 here. I mentioned army cadets earlier. Um, yeah, the L L-85A2. So this is what the British army uses, and what I've actually, uh, fired in the army cadets. Uh, I think Penguin did as well. Um, and, yeah, it's a bit of fun. It's a weird bull pop. Uh... And one of those guns that has a bad reputation because the first version of this was god-awful. Like, it would just break all the time. But then they... Well, <laughs> then they paid the Germans to be like, Can you fix this? And then they did, and apparently it's alright now. But I, uh, well... Army cadet, so you only ever fire, like, five or six rounds through it, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Nice. What else have they got? Oh, they've got this cool thing. So I think this was like a... I don't know, was it developed by America, France? Why am I thinking France? I think it might have been France. Anyway, so this was like a future weapons co concept. Oh, and the other thing, if you haven't played it a lot, is you get lots of cool attachments. You can just put basically any attachment as long as you have one of these kind of Picatinny rails right here. Anyway, so it was this kind of future concept for a, for a sort of modernized weapon and it looks junky but so this is like caseless ammunition and it loads at the top and it holds like 50 rounds um and it has and it charges by twisting this around which is super weird and the cool thing about this is so it has single shot like so and it has fully automatic like that and it has a three shot burst which is a really quick three shots so it's faster than the automatic, so that you can, like, it's like having uh, three shots in one. It was supposed to be like, so a soldier fires three shots, but the, a, shoulder, a soldier basically fires one shot, but they have three chances to hit. And I think that was the concept before, behind it. Yeah, so it's like way faster than the fully automatic, which is pretty fucking cool. Battle rifles, they got the FAL. Um, another British, well, not British weapon, but there's something the British used. Um, kind of the thing they would have carried into the Falklands. I think the, the kind of weapon my dad would have been issued, actually, with, uh, he was a commando, so, yeah, imagine he would have carried one of these, um, which was pretty cool. Um, nice. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty neat. I like the wood furniture. There's, like, loads of different, I think there's, like, two versions of a lot of guns, so you've got the, um... FAL, Paratrooper, the tactical one, and then the Woodstock one, which is like the really nice one. AR-10, that's pretty cool. It's like the 7.62 AR-15, I think. Something like that. What else we got? Ah, oh, yeah, the big, the, the big dick guns. Um, you got MG-42 in here somewhere, which is a lot of fun. Um, M60. Got the M249, the big old... Uh... So the cool thing about the M249, actually, um, which I learned from Demolition Ranch, is you can load it normally. As you would expect with this big, uh, come on, this big box. And you can just let them have it. You know, kind of just rip up everything. Just uh, destroy a third world nation, you know. Just really uh, send some freedom downrange. Can I hit that with it? Yeah, hit the gong. <laughs> Don't think I'm hitting that gong. Anyway. So you can do that, and then when you run out of ammo... Can I take this off before I'm out of ammo? Yes. So you run out of ammo. And then your riflemen don't have those, so they can't give them to you. But they can give you, like, standard AR-15 magazines. Um, so that's like a AR mag, but this one has 60 rounds, which is nice. But, um, yeah, you can just get, like, the normal rifle ones and have, like, 30 rounds for, like... You know, just in case, like, it's a good backup. Which is, yeah, pretty cool. 
like a nice little feature they put in them. Um, oh, you've got the volcanic pistol. Pretty iconic from Red Dead, and it's got a cool feature in this, so if I load this up with some bullets... I guess bullet round. Well, I guess they're rounds, but they just look like bullets. I think they're rocket, like rocket propelled. If I'm remembering that right, the volcanic pistol thought maybe if I put like a rocket in the back of the pistol kind of thing instead of like a uh, like propellant in a casing, that would be better. Spoiler alert: it wasn't. So yeah, you can load this normally, kind of just by pumping that forward and shooting it, or you can spin it like that, and it is. An incredibly anemic pistol. <laughs> it basically doesn't kill anything. <laughs> At least in this game. I have no idea in real life. Apparently it wasn't great either. Um, from what I remember from Gun Jesus's video. Oh, it's quite satisfying though. Useless, but satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out some other modes real quick before I end this video. How long have I been recording for? 35 minutes, Jesus. You really lose time in this. Um, I'll cut this down, hopefully, because a lot of it's going to be... I'm, it's my first time recording VR, so it's going to be tricky. So, one of my favorite scenes is the breaching prototype. Um, so, this is like a little house that... Uh, let me get a gun, and we'll just show it to you. Um, I'm thinking... Beretta M9 is what I'm thinking, yeah. The old cool one. John McLean's gun. So, yeah. Right. So, you got like this menu here. This is quite an old scene. I think it's been in the game for a while. So, if you've ever seen this game, you've probably seen this. So, you can spawn um, spawn lots of things. So, you can spawn uh, these hot dogs, which are just basically these hot dog statues. And you can go around and sort of shoot them, which is okay, I guess. But um, the cooler two things are you can do the IPSC, which I think is the International Practi Practical Shooting Council, I don't know what the C stands for. And these are like these cool, like, uh, practical shooting targets. So it's all about kind of accuracy and time. And at the end, you get a score. Oop, missed that guy. Oop, bad shot there. And I think that's all of them downstairs. So you can kind of like practice quite well. And it, actually doing this has made me much better at sort of, oop, missed that guy. Uh, shooting in like things like the, uh, taken hold, so where it's like more of a combat scenario, you know, where there's like things shooting back at you. Um, and I find doing this actually made me just way better at that, which in most games, like where you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, obviously won't be the case, because it's just so different. But because it's all about like learning actions that you do with your hands in this, this is actually quite a useful sort of task. I've missed one. I fucking missed one. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, so my score is going to be terrible because I've got to go and find the one I missed. Maybe there were two in there? Yeah, fucking hell. I didn't check my didn't check my corners, you know. It's a lesson you learn, so pretty bad time. Um, um, and then the other cool thing, let's get another gun for this. Um, I really like this one, actually. I don't know, I guess it's just some kind of AR-15. I don't really know. Um... One of those kind of nice, fancy ones you can get in the States. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so you can also spawn Sosigs. Those sausages we fight in here. So, spawn ten of them, which is quite a lot actually now thinking about it. Um, come on. Why can't I grab the... Let me grab! <laughs> so, they'll be in here, and you just want to probably turn the safety off first, Peter. Sneak in and kill as many as you can. There's one! Oh, did I get him? Fuck, run away. <laughs> I didn't bring any extra ammo, actually. I just realized I brought one magazine, so I better do this right! No, oh, I'm gonna die so hard. Dead. Come on. Dead. Ah, did I get him? Shit! Come on. Dead. Ooh! Dead. <laughs> I'm actually, I, I've done quite a bit of this a few times, so I kind of uh, know how to sort of kill all the sosigs, so a little bit cheaty. Um. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Come on. <laughs> nice. Wrecked. <laughs> da -da -da. Let's take one of their guns just in case I need it. So their guns are like sort of joke guns. Oh no! Come on! No! 
<laughs> the first time you've lost my gun. I'd get another one, I guess. Let's get a different one. I think I killed them all anyway. Fuck it, I'll go and check. So the first time you fall in VR is a terrifying experience. It's like... Re it's really something, actually. I, I didn't think it would be like... Affect me that much. <sighs> okay, okay, that one did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, falling in VR is a very strange experience. You anyway, know, I think I killed them all. One of my favorite things to do in this is there's a bunch of like just dumb kind of junky weapons. Um, so, like, say if you go into pistol, you've got like actually maybe revolver. Yeah, so you've got like the ladies' companion, um, <laughs> which is like a five shot twenty two long rifle, which is just one of the most useless weapons I've ever used. Well, actually, no, no, it's not. The uh, I've found that the 25 caliber weapons are worse. But yeah, you've got like the 25 ACP pocket, this tiny little, uh, tiny little thing. You know what, let's get a bunch of like anemic guns and see if we can do this. Let's get one of these. Yeah, that'd be fun. If I spawn like five, so it's somewhat fair, and just kind of load up on anemic weapons. <laughs> Uh, Derringer. This Derringer is very anemic. This one is for 41 short. <laughs> I find that whenever there is a short in the name of a cartridge, it's usually trash. Um, oh, get the muzzle loader, yeah. So this is great. Um, luckily it comes with paper cartridges, so you can kind of uh, do it all in one. So you bite the end off that, put a little bit of powder in there, put the rest of the powder in the barrel. I think I got it mostly in the barrel. And then stuff it down with this. Okay. There we go. Let's put that back. Let's flick that up. Alright. I've got a bunch of useless weapons. I think we can do this. Um, I know there's a really funny, like, junk 22. Yeah, this thing. So it's like a single shot 22 long rifle. Um, oh, shit. Well, it's cocked at least, by accident. And they have the Martini Henry. So this is the gun from Zulu, basically. It's like a British Army kind of... Uh, British Army gun from, from like, the 1800s when we were doing totally uh, not fucked up things in Africa. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a flare gun. That'll be fun. Um, I could load it with a shotgun shell, but I think a flare would be funnier. There we go. I've got enough slots, I think. Okay, let's try and see if we can kill five guys with... Uh, yeah, let's start with the muzzle loader. <laughs> let's see if we can kill five guys with this collection of useless weapons. <laughs> All right, cool. Nope. <laughs> oh God, Martini Henry. This is not a useless weapon. This is like pretty powerful. All right, next I think flare gun because it's uh, it's got a flare in it though. I thought I did put a shotgun shell in it. Beautiful. What next? Let's go 25 ACP. Oh, I think I killed him. Wounded him, at least. I mean, I shot him in the face. No, he's alive. I think this game slightly oversells the uselessness of, uh... How are you alive? I think this game slightly undersells, uh, 25 ACP. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad in real life. I don't think you can be shot five times in the face and still be alive. Ooh. Damn it. So, the thing about the teleporting movement is when you let go of something like a pipe, you stay there. But with this new kind of movement, you don't stay there. You just fall, which I'm getting used to slowly. Ladies' companion. Because I am a lady! Oh, fucking killed him. Wouldn't fuck with this lady. Oh, Christ alive. Please die! Okay, that's most of them dead. I think there's one left. I have a... Oh god! Eh. Oh! Oh! Beat you to death! Oh Christ! Oh! Okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's Hot Dog Soldier and Hangar. I've been playing for way too long because I just love this game so much. So if you somehow have VR and don't have this game, pick it up. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos on this, you know, uh, let me know because I think that'd be fun. Go for a quick jog. Uh, It'll be, be a ton of fun, because I really like this game, even though I'm <laughs> not amazing while recording. Um, but maybe I'll get more used to it and it'll be a little better. Although I'm probably never going to be uh, setting records and taking hold. There are some guys who are just incredible at it. Anyway, this has been uh, 
Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. And my first video, my first video that isn't a live stream in about two years. So, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, see y'all later.